I'm a little late with this video because the holiday has passed, but Jup Mang Nam Wai, Gong Hei Fa Choi, Shi Ling Kui La, Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. My name is Ruth. Welcome to my channel, and let's chat about Lunar New Year love story. So this is my first graphic novel, and I'm very excited to read it. Naturally, I had to learn what the difference between what a graphic novel and a comic is. So roll the clip. What's the difference between a graphic novel and a comic book? A graphic novel is usually longer in its length, whereas a comic book is typically shorter. A graphic novel can focus on a wide range of themes and genres, whereas comic books tend to focus on episodic storytelling or superhero adventures. In the past, comic books tended to be targeted to young children, but now they're also enjoyed by adults. Graphic novels can be written to target any audience, from children to young adults to adults. Graphic novels are usually published in a single volume, whereas comic books are published in multiple issues that make up a series covering an overlying arc or storyline. Overall, while these are both similar in that they can use art to help tell a story, there are some of those differences. The more you know. Valentina is named after Valentine's Day, one of her favorite holidays, and it so happens that Lunar New Year is around the same time. This is a coming of age story where Valentina has to deal with family, fate, falling in love, secrets, and heartbreak. As I was reading the story, I was getting everywhere all at once and to all the boys that love me vibe. So if you like that type of genre, I think you'll like this book as well. Some other things I appreciated about this book is their call out to Vietnamese culture. Sometimes I feel like Vietnamese culture, you know, we're really underrepresented in, like in the entertainment industry. And so I like that this book had that. So in the book, um, the grandma or the mom was talking to her son in Vietnamese. So they had that Vietnamese dialogue in there, which I appreciate. Um, I was able to read some of the words. Of course, I had to Google some of it, but um, I did get the gist of it. So I, I like that they had some Vietnamese words in the dialogue. One, it makes it more real, right? When you're reading a story and you're reading something from a different language, it adds to the experience. And two, um, we can assume that English is not, you know, the grandma's um, first language. And so the way her English text was written or how she used certain words was um, funny, but also kind of like incorrect again, right? English is not really her first language. And so that's kind of expected, right? And so again, I think that adds to the authenticity of the dialogue and the mood to the story. So thank you for that detail. I also want to shout out, you know, Mean Girls for including some Vietnamese characters into their movie. Bojack Horseman from Diane Nguyen and um, oh my gosh I forgot that Netflix movie there was a, a, a rom-com about um, a late, a travel agency going to Vietnam so um, thank you for representing Vietnamese culture um, one of my favorite characters is the grandma um, you know I think she keeps it real even though she's traditional in some ways. So traditional, what I mean is um, usually parents don't really apologize to the kids. That's like a whole nother story issue we can get into, but that's what I mean by traditional. And so um, she is a little hard headed in that sense where she doesn't go and apologize, but um, Overall, you know, we understand where she's coming from and um, her heart. And so I, I like that about the grandma where she tries to um, be the glue wherever she can or try to mediate wherever she can. But of course, she still has her uh, issues as well. But I do appreciate the grandma keeping it real. Um, some things that I didn't like about the book. Um, it's not really like not I didn't like about it, but it was just like a minor like annoyance. And so for me, you know, the 
some of the words are in Vietnamese, so I understood what that means. But for someone that like doesn't know Vietnamese, it might be annoying for you to like, okay, I have to get my phone out to like Google Translate this really quick. Or you might not care and just kind of gloss over some of those Vietnamese words, you know? So I guess it's up to the reader. But for me, if I was like a non-Vietnamese reader, I'd probably like be just a little tad bit annoyed that there wasn't really like an English translation with the Vietnamese uh, text. And then another thing that was kind of like an, a little annoyance is when Val has her inner monologue, they use a different text. So I'll include it here uh, in the video so you can kind of see like, okay, you know, I mean, comparing the two texts, you know, like which one is easier to read, right? And so that was like a little annoyance where it was just a little bit difficult to read the text when it was in that font. My overall thoughts, if you haven't guessed it already, I love this book, would recommend you read it. Um, it's super short read, it's a graphic novel, right? So if you're a very fast reader, I would imagine you can finish this in like an hour, maybe less than an hour. Um, and, and I also love the artwork of the book here. I think it's really beautiful, so. Like always, please let me know your thoughts. Did you like the book? Didn't you like the book? Who is your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.